hi, welcome to Live Aligned Pilates. I'm Liv and today I'm running you through a oblique focused Pilates flow. Really fun, flowy, feel good moves. And please just remember to take breaks and modify it whenever you need to. So we're going to get started on the hands and knees in a tabletop position. And throughout this whole class, I am going to mirror you, mirror image. Okay. Here, taking our cat and cow stretch. Joints are stacked, arching through the back, rounding through the spine. Inhale to arch as you drop the belly down. Exhale to round as you tuck chin to chest, tuck tailbone, lift the core up. And again, inhale, arch, open the collarbones. Exhale to round. One more. Wonderful, come to your tabletop position. Step your hands away from your shoulders about 15 to 20 centimetres. We are rippling through the spine, coming back to our heels for child's pose. And then rounding that wave through the spine to come into a kneeling plank. Send the hips back to the heels, arch through the back, sit towards the heels. Round through the spine, chin to chest, tailbone tucks until your shoulders stack over your hands, you find that kneeling plank. So it's your cat and cow motion through your spine. And we're starting to really connect in with our core as we find that kneeling plank. Do one more here. Beautiful. Come back to tabletop, but keep your hands forward. Just lower your elbows and forearms down. Readjust your legs if you need to. Coming into a donkey kick, we flex our left foot. Keep the left knee bent at 90 degrees. Pressing the heel up to the ceiling. Lower the knee back down. Just that left leg lifts and lowers. So here we're thinking about squaring off the shoulders and the hips towards the mat. Lifting your core up and away from the mat. And really using your left glute and your left hamstring to do the lifting. Rather than relying on any momentum here. So good. Now we're going to add in a fire hydrant. So after our donkey kick, open the knee out to the side, close it down. Flex the foot, donkey kick. Relax the foot or point the toe for your fire hydrant. So this is where our obliques and our outer glutes and hips start to work as well. We really wanna draw the waist in as that knee opens out to the side trying not to sway or rock over to the right. Here for another five, four, three, two. Lift back into your donkey kick now and just pulse up for 10, nine, so good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, straighten out your left leg. We take a lower and a lift. Little tap to the floor, lift straight back up. We're still in parallel. So heel pointing to the ceiling, top of the foot facing down towards the floor. Now if we're really working on our alignment, we're pressing our chest away from the floor as well. So those shoulders will start to Here for three, two, amazing. Lift your leg on one, little circles for five, four, three, two, and one, reverse. Five, keep those hips steady, four, three, two. 
One, now we're not quite done. We keep our left leg lifted. We straighten our arms, so our hands are still forward, elbows straight. We shift back into that kneeling plank, this time drawing your left knee out wide to tap your elbow, and then extend the leg behind you. That's it. Plank on the knee, draw your left knee out wide, and extend, there's your oblique side crunch. We take it slow. Keep control, focus, connection, mind to muscle. Now, I sometimes I lay out my classes to do multiple exercises on this one side so that we can really fatigue that muscle group and start to build that muscular endurance and strength. So many benefits come from this but if it does become too challenging, please pause the video and rest. We're here for another one more, just one more. Hold that kneeling plank, draw your knee to the opposite elbow, back to the left elbow, over to the right, over to the left for three, two, and one. And just take a little stretch here. Coming into your child's post stretch, well done. Come back up onto those hands and knees. Now we're opening up to the side, the lengthways of our mat. Our left leg is still nice and long. The right hand is down under the right shoulder, right knee under right hip, and your top arm reaches up to the sky. We lift our left leg and we sweep our hand towards the leg. As we lower the leg, reach your left arm overhead, look down. That's it, just a couple more like this. Lift, lower. One more before we add on, lift, lower. Now we add a side crunch here, knee to elbow. Extend, now your lift. Lift, lower, side crunch, knee to elbow. Pull it in, reach it long. We lift, sweep to the leg. Lower, you've got that combo now. Work through, five more. Beautiful, four. So good, three. Now we're really thinking about drawing the abs back. Two, strong for our supporting side as well. This is your last one. Now we lift our leg, we keep it lifted, place the hand on the hip, bend and extend this top leg, really getting into that outer glute and hip. I've got really tight hips, so I do find this challenging. Pressing your hips forward for four, three, two, one. Perfect, bring it on down. Take a moment, take a rest. Do whatever you need to do. And we're moving to, on to our back now. So we get to lie down and give our legs a bit of a break. So we're on our back, legs tabletop, externally rotate the knees. Now cross your left leg underneath your right. So your ankles are crossed, your right ankle is on top, your left ankle is underneath and your knees are in a diamond shape. Hands behind the head, elbows wide. Let's curl up. Exhale, curl. Inhale, down. One more, exhale, curl. Inhale, down. Let's add on. Exhale, curl. Toe tap your left leg down towards the mat. Lift it back up and return the head to the floor. Curling up, toe tap left leg down, lift. Head comes down, noticing I'm keeping that external rotation even with that toe tap leg, that left leg. Now, obliques, let's think about them. Let's curl up and over to that right knee, toe tap. Bring the leg back, head comes down. You've got to curl over to the right knee, toe tap left toes, return. Bring it down, perfect. 
So we've got this cross body tension here as we curl across to the opposite knee. Our other leg is tapping down with control. Three. That's it. Two. So good. And one. And come down. Now, tuck your fingers and thumbs under your glutes, supporting your low back, posteriorly tilting your pelvis under slightly, keeping the diamond shape with your legs, the cross of your ankles, try and double toe tap here. Press your back down into the mat, draw your core down. You do not have to touch the mat as well. You can come halfway down if that's you today. If you want more, reach your arms long, curl up for your last four. Three, so good, draw the core down. Two, one, bring it in, hug the knees towards the chest and crossing the ankles and let's just circle those knees out, around and down. Now I know that that can be a lot for your hip flexors, it was a lot for mine, but there is value in strengthening your hip flexors as well. Just take a moment if you need it. All right, hug yourself into a little ball. Rock yourself all the way up to seated. Now we are ready to get onto the other side. Even things out. We start down on the elbows and forearms. Knees underneath the hips. Our chest is pressing away from the floor. Our core is lifting away. We're flexing the right foot, pointing the heel to the ceiling. Keeping your 90 degree bend as you lift and lower through your donkey kick. Connect back in with your breath. I find it helpful to sync up the effort with the exhale. So for me, the lift as I exhale. Okay, after this one, we add in our fire hydrant, so relax the foot, open the right knee out to the side, close, flex the foot, donkey kick, relax, open. So remember this is obliques, we're thinking about here drawing the side of the body in, the waist. Keep breathing here. Good, here for three. Two. Now on one, flex your foot, hold your donkey kick and pulse up for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. You can do it. Four, three, two, one. Extend your back leg, lower to the mat. Readjust if you need to, lifting core, lifting chest. And we lift and lower our right leg now. It's not about how high your leg goes, but how long can you feel it lengthen away from the hip socket without hitching your hip up or forfeiting your alignment. Still in parallel for three, two. Beautiful job. Lift on one. You've got it. Last bit here. We straighten the arms. So we're lifting up with straight arms. Hands are still forward. We come forward into that kneeling plank. Draw right knee to right elbow and extend. Come forward. Weight into the arms. Side crunch through that right side of your body. Little C curve happening through that right side of your waist. That's it. Your supporting glute will be firing up as well because it worked so hard on the first side and it is supporting a lot of your body weight right now. Three. Two. Hold on one. Hold that plank. Cross to opposite elbow, back to right elbow. Opposite, right. For three. Two. One, so good. Child's pose stretch, just for a moment, reset. 
Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Come all the way up, back into that kneeling tabletop. And we open up into our side kneeling position. So we have our right leg nice and long, left hand under shoulder, left knee under hip, top arm reaching up to the ceiling. We take our leg lift, sweep our hand towards the thigh. As we lower the foot, we reach up and overhead. Two more like this and reach. One more. Reach, now add your side crunch knee to elbow and your leg lift, arm sweep. You've got it. So we really wanna try and press these hips forward as well. It can be tricky, everyone's hips are built differently, but just do your best. Five more, five. Find that length, then that crunch. Four. So good. Three. Two. You've got it, last one. Top hand on hip, bend and extend this knee. Keep that if you can. Ooh. Keep breathing, keep focused. Four, three, two, nice and open to the front. And one, bring it down. Oh my gosh, well done. We are so close. We've just got our supine abs on the other side. So lie down onto your back. So we bring our legs into tabletop, open the knees, external rotation, cross your right ankle underneath your left ankle, like so. Bring your hands behind your head, elbows wide. Inhale to prepare, exhale to curl. That's it, inhale, come down, reset. Exhale, lift, ribs to hips. Now we add on our toe tap, curl up. Hold the curl, toe tap the right toes down. Keeping the external rotation, draw the leg back, cross the ankles and rest the head. Do that again. Curl, tap, return, calm down, breathe. Elbows wide, chest proud, chin tucked as if you have a little lemon under your chin. Now let's add our oblique curl, curl up and over to the left knee, toe tap the right toes. It's very tricky not to twist the body in this one. Just do your best to keep that pelvis super still and heavy on the mat. That's it, thinking right armpit drawing across to that left hip. Let's do two more. You're almost there. And one, beautiful. Come back to the center. Rest the head down, tuck the fingers and thumb, thumbs underneath the glutes, support the low back, draw the core down, double toe tap. Still keeping that cross of our ankles. Just try and notice if your lower back wants to lift an arch in an exaggerated way. And if that's happening, just come down to where you feel that lift begin. And then that's your, your challenge point. That's your range today. If you want to make things harder, reach those arms, hold your curl. We're here for our last four. That space between your hip bones, drawing down. Three, so good, this is it. Two, one, amazing. Rest down, hug your knees in towards your chest, well done. If you liked those knee circles, go there again. Let's take a nice twist here, hugging your left knee in towards your chest, extend your right leg long, draw the knee across the body. Perhaps looking to the opposite direction. Deepen the breath. Come back to the center, switch sides, hug right knee in, left leg extends, taking your twist.
and come back to the middle. Hug your knees in towards your chest, rock up and down, the length of your spine to come all the way up. We take a cross-legged or comfortable seated position. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, stretch over to the right. Inhale, come back upright. Exhale, over to the left. Sitting up tall, bringing that right hand over to the left knee, taking a twist. And then twisting to the other side, left hand on right knee. Coming back to the front, giving your shoulders a shrug up, down and back. And finishing up class right here. So I truly hope you enjoyed this oblique Pilates flow. If you did, make sure to like the video and subscribe to Live Aligned Pilates. I upload new workouts every week. Have a wonderful day and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.